Hello, Happy New Year, <laughs> and welcome to my lifestyle channel. I'm Lorena, Lorena Creole, and on this channel, I vlog about living this fabulous, fabulous lifestyle in the state of Florida. And in this video, um, I'm actually going to give you a couple of tips of what to do when your family decides that, hey, you live in Florida, so uh, guess who we're going to stay with over the Christmas holidays? So before I get started giving you guys the dish and the tips about all of that, please do your girl a favor and do me the privilege of subscribing to my channel trying to get to 100 subscribers and when you do that please do hit that notification bell so you're notified when your girl has brought and when you do please do hit that notification bell so you're notified when your girl has hot new fresh content for you to enjoy so with that said let's get on to the video so I actually had family come visit me for uh, quite some time for the holidays. And um, when I lived up north in Philadelphia, my place was kind of like a stopover for like a day or two and then go visit other friends. But since I live in Florida now, everybody wants to visit me. You know what, it's gonna happen. You're living in a place with awesome weather and when it's like cold and frigid up north and you're in the warm warm lovely florida sun where you're trying to think is it hmm, is it warm enough to go swimming today obviously relatives are going to want to come down and visit you during this time of year but it sounds all great and lovely and everything um but i think it was ben franklin who said that yes like fish stink in three days so with this video i'm going to give you a couple of guidelines to make the visit of your family not so tough but uh give you some points and hints to get through it all together and emerge with a great visit and a positive positive spin on having your relatives visit you for the holidays number one Start with the end in mind. In other words, when family says, hey, we're gonna come visit you for uh, the Christmas holidays, your follow-up question should be, or I should say your primary question should be, so how long do you plan on staying? That may seem rather blunt, but let's remember, they're coming to visit you. Most, most likely, you have your own plans. Um, you may be working through most of the holidays. So making sure that everyone is on the same page about when the arrival and the departure is for family makes it much easier to handle the visit. Don't leave that question open-ended about when your visitors are supposed to be leaving because remember this is a vacation they're not moving in with you so make that plain up front so there's no misunderstandings two don't feel bad about putting family up in a hotel absolutely do not there are a lot of benefits to having a hotel one once you're done with all the family things, they get to go someplace else to be basically waited on, you know, hand to hand and foot. And this is especially helpful if you have a small space, but a lot of relatives coming to uh, coming to visit. So it's not very fair for you to host a lot of people to come and visit and you don't have the space. It's not going to be very pleasurable for anybody. So. One of the things may be to either split the bill for them to stay at a hotel or pay a percentage of it for them to stay at a hotel or, you know what, just give it as a Christmas present. I mean, I, I have done that where I've had family come and visit and as a Christmas present for the two days that normally they would have stayed with me because I really didn't have that much space and they had a large family, 
pay for them to stay at a Homewood Suites. Everybody loved it. The kids loved it. They had breakfast every day. They had a pool. It was a great time. So don't feel bad about offering a hotel as a suggestion. Three, keep the cooking simple. And now, if you're used to a family of people that cook crazy amounts of intricate dishes for the holidays, this is a tough one, but your sanity hinges on it. Try not to make meals that are too elaborate or, or over the top, or if you are, you kind of have two options. One, either save that to just like one evening or one meal, or to make a lot of that elaborate stuff ahead of time and put it in the uh, chest freezer and just nuke it in the microwave or heat it up in the oven to serve to, uh, to serve the guests. The reason I say not too elaborate is you have people visiting and it is going to wear on you, it is. And if the visitors that you have coming, if some of them are small children, sometimes they may not be down for all the intricate stuff and they're basically just happy with hamburgers, chicken nuggets, or pizza. That can happen. So again, don't plan super, super, super elaborate meals. It just doesn't go over well. So kind of try not to go overboard with that. Make things that people like, but try to keep it simple or simplify it as much as you possibly can. Four, plan some together time. And it can be very, very, um, I guess, crazy with people coming to visit and people are kind of, they don't know what to do or how they should be spending their time except for crashing at your house. Plan some outings out together. You know, go, go fishing, go, go bowling, go sightseeing, go show the family all the things that are great. Okay, not all of them, but what you can do. What's so great about spending the holidays in Florida, you know, go to a tree farm. There are tree farms in Florida around Christmas. I mean, they cut the trees up north and ship them down here. Go out looking for a tree. Go look at the decorations um, at the mall. One of my favorite malls to go to here in Orlando, Mall at Millennia. Look at the decorations. Go check out some of the little Florida, you know, towns that are around and just have fun doing that. Go get coffee, go get, go get cocoa, but do a couple of things together. This is especially if you're someone who's going to be working either up until Christmas, it kind of helps you keep you connected with your visitors. Five, plan some apart time. This is also very important. Um, too much togetherness is not a good thing. It can drive people crazy. You know, it just, uh, it just can. One of my things that I did when family came to visit is, you know what? I gave them an itinerary and some pointers about where to go. Literally, sent them off to Disney Springs. They had a great time by themselves, checking stuff out, having fun with the kids. They loved doing that. Um, they also did a couple of day trips where they could go out and do stuff during the day. Well, I got to work in complete things uh, during the day. So don't think that you have to spend all your time together. Plan some alone time for you to do stuff on your own and then to reconnect with your family a little later on. So in closing, I just want to say that when you have family visiting you for Christmas in Florida, you want them to leave with a good impression. So make sure that you have enough time to spend together, some time to spend apart, keep the meals very, very simple, and of course, have a departure date for your family. Because what you want to have happen is you want your family to leave with a great impression and a great experience. And one of the ways that I like to emphasize that is at the end of the trip, giving them a little bit of Florida to take back home with them, whether it's citrus fruit, whether it's my favorite, you know, like a bottle of key lime juice, just some things to keep the Florida memories alive when they go back to the cold, you know, 
freezing up, freezing north. Okay, so that's gonna end it for this video. I hope that these tips were helpful. For those of you, if you live in the state of Florida and you've had to have relatives visit, or if you're visiting relatives in the state of Florida, please let me know in the comments if this video was indeed helpful to you, which I certainly do hope it was. So if it was helpful, please do give this video a thumbs up. And also please let your girl know in the comments what experiences you've had with relatives visiting you, you know, for the, uh, for the Christmas holidays. What are some of your tips? for handling the, uh, the family and visitors that are coming to see you during a very, very crazy time of the year. All right, so with that said, that's gonna wrap it up for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.